Thank you for joining with me for the meditation for lesson 127. There is no love but God's. There is no love but God's. Love's meaning is obscure to anyone who thinks that love can change. Love cannot judge. And as it is one itself, it looks on all as one. Its meaning lies in oneness. There is no love but God's, and all of love is His. There is no other principle that rules where love is not. Love is a law without opposite. Its wholeness is the power holding everything as one. The link between the Father and the Son, which holds them both forever as the same. No law the world obeys can help you grasp love's meaning. The world believes it was made to hide love's meaning and to keep it dark and secret. Seek not within the world to find yourself, capital S. Love is not found in darkness and in death. Let us escape from every law in which we now believe. Let us open our minds and rest. The world that seems to hold you prisoner can be escaped by anyone who does not hold it dear. Withdraw all value you have placed upon this world and its meager offerings and senseless gifts, and let the gift of God replace them all. Call to your Father, certain that His voice will answer. There is no love but God's. In loving gentleness, he will abide with you as you allow his voice to teach love's meaning to your clean and open mind. He will bless this lesson with his love. There is no love but God's.
is no love but God's. In this lesson, we see the contrast between what is positive, such as love, love is positive, with what is negative, which is special love, negative. The subject is special love, for love between spouses or lovers is different between, from love between the parent and a child or between friends, or love for an animal or plant is not the same as love for a human being, and love for Jesus and God differs from all other forms. The many kinds of love prove the ego is right, that there is indeed a hierarchy of illusions as the first law of chaos proclaims. Moreover, among the different kinds of love, some are deemed superior to others. Thus we say the love of God exists on a higher plane than sexual or romantic love, or that nothing is purer than a mother's love, superseding love for a pet, plant, or a cause. Jesus is asking us to let go of the past, present, and future, the shadowy projections of sin, guilt, and fear. And in the holy instant when we ask Jesus' help, we are outside linear time and the ego thought system, and therefore we are no longer bound by the world's laws. His vision releases the belief in the sinful past, guilty present, and fearful future allowing the innocence of God's Son to be reborn into a bright and shining future, an extension of the holy instant's present love. This inner world of infancy is newly born because we are still so afraid. Yet the child grows into adulthood as we release our fear and realize we are happier when with Jesus, then when alone and separate. Let us seek to recognize during the day how we exclude others in both obvious and subtle ways. Recall that this is not about the form or behavior, but our thoughts that separate out those special ones for love or hate. Therefore, we are asked to remember throughout the day I'm sorry therefore those we are asked to remember throughout the day refers to everyone who chooses to be made free as joint Jesus pointed out earlier you know, in the lesson okay so we end with the happy and the saving thought of our oneness with those from whom we try to separate and at one with God and ourselves. Thus do we learn the joyous lesson that God's love is all there is, in which we are one with all who once believed they were apart from it. So this lesson concludes by giving us the words to say to a special someone. And as he comes to mind, give him this message from yourself. I bless you, my brother, with the love of God, which I would share with you. For I would learn the joyous lesson that there is no love but God's and yours and mine and everyone's. And so it is. I love you. Thank you so much for joining with me. Have a beautiful day and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.